Hello, my name is Howard Milano and today I'm going to show you how to rotate objects in FreeCAD around the X, the Y and the Z axis. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's run a little animation. And there's uh, three disks and they're rotating around the Z, the Y and the X axis. Set it back to zero. I'll show you how to do it. So there is a variable angle for the rotation. There are three disks. They're really all the same disk and they're all inserted at a local coordinate system. And there's three local coordinate systems, three disks. So I assume you all know how to create a local coordinate system and how to create an object and then ins insert uh, the object into assembly 4 at the local coordinate system. Okay, let's hide some things and I'll talk about the magic happens in the local coordinate systems. Okay, first one is a basic local coordinate system at the origin. It's attached at the origin. It is not translated and we're going to rotate it around the Z, the blue one. And how do you do that? You adjust this with variable angle and you attach it at XYZ. And when you hover over it, it basically says it's the same, it links it to the object. So that means the objects XYZ are linked to the XYZ of the local coordinate system. So straight mapping. So when we run this, you can see it rotates around the blue one, around the Z. And set it back. And we attach the disk. So I'll show it for this one. And you run it, it rotates it. It rotates the object around the Z. So the other ones are similar, but you twist the coordinate system so they rotate in the y in the x-axis. So let's take a look at that. Let's hide this again. Show this one. There's the other one. You can see the axes are twisted a little bit. The z sticks out here now. So how do we do this? So it's attached to the origin again. It's translated 4D in the z direction, which is really this z. And we're going to rotate it around the y in the original coordinate system, but it really means we're rotating around the z in the, this local coordinate system. So variable angle again around the z. And we map it at x, z, y. And that means if you hover over it, it tells you what it means. The x goes to x, the x goes to x, the y goes to z, the y goes to the z position and the z goes to the minus y position. The z goes to the minus y position. So effectively, with, when we're dealing with rotation, it means that ro this rotates around its local z, but it's really around the, the, the y in the original uh, coordinate system. So, okay. Let's give it a little... So you see they rotate around their local Z's. Similar for this third one. This time we want to rotate around the X axis. So which means in this coordinate system rotating around the Z again. So let's take a look. So it's attached to the origin again. It's translated 40 to Z, this Z again. It's rotating around its own Z, this Z, which means rotating around the X in the original local coordinate system, and it's mapped as YZX. And you can hover over it again, and then you can see how it uh, changes the, the X, Y, and Z to a different one. Okay. Let me run this now. We can see that all of them rotate around their local Z, but in the original one, it ro this one rotates around the X, 
this one around the y and this one around the z and so we the disks are all hooked up to the log coordinate system it's a straight uh, insert you don't you just use the default values and you set it running rotating around the z rotating around the y rotating around the x Okay, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.